We begin tonight with chilling new details on the murder of a Spokane cab driver stabbed to death by his passenger in North Idaho last month. Gagandeep Singh was 22 years old. He is remembered by family and friends as smart, caring and friendly. A friend and a co-worker who is dearly missed. He's one of the few drivers out here that everybody liked. I mean, everybody liked him. His accused killer, a 19-year-old who flew to Spokane from Western Washington with the hopes of starting his college career. A news release sent out by the Bonner County Sheriff's Office explains in detail the bizarre chain of events that resulted in Singh's death, but a probable cause testimony given by a detective elaborates on what happened after that stabbing and why law enforcement say it appears it's enough to prove murder was premeditated. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke has the story and details of that testimony. Caroline? Nadine, we've been keeping a close eye on Jacob Coleman's movement through the court system since he was arrested. Now, he was supposed to have a second hearing two weeks ago, but it was canceled so he could undergo a mental health evaluation, a decision based on statements he made to investigators. So we look to recorded testimony from detectives to find out why. He flew to Spokane with sights set on Gonzaga and the start of his college career. But 19-year-old Jacob Coleman never actually applied to Gonzaga and was not allowed entry. He, in his words, spiraled down from there. When he called a cab at the airport, he says a plan began to take shape. Once he left Gonzaga, he had developed a plan in his mind that he wanted to kill somebody, and Mr. Singh just became a target of opportunity. Coleman told Singh to drive him to Hope, Idaho. At a stop at Walmart on the way, he bought a knife. When they reached Clark Fork, Singh realized Coleman didn't know where he was going, so he turned back and stopped at a gas station in the town of Kootenai. And Mr. Coleman was talking to Mr. Singh about possibly being suicidal. Mr. Singh was trying to get uh, his phone number or his parents' phone number or somebody he could contact to help. The 22-year-old cab driver tried to help his young passenger, but when he mentioned Coleman's parents, something changed. Did he give you any rationale or reason why he stabbed Mr. Singh? His, his initial reason was that he absolutely did not want anybody contacting his parents. Coleman told detectives Singh fought for his life, but eventually he stopped. And Coleman says they began to talk. Singh's last words entrusted to his accused killer. Uh, Mr. Singh wanted to make sure that if somebody apologized to his girlfriend about an event that happened, Mr. Coleman said he, he offered Mr. Singh some comfort and help. He would give him water when he asked for water. For what he says felt like several hours, Coleman claims he offered comfort. But at no time did he call for help. He was still in the cab when the first deputies arrived on scene. He just simply watched him bleed out. Coleman is facing a first-degree murder charge. He has yet to enter a plea on that charge. According to the Idaho Repository, he's scheduled to be in court again next week. In studio, Caroline Rourke, KXOI 4 News. So disturbing. All right, thank you, Caroline.